welcome let's solve this question and uh, probability tossing of a coin twice so a fair coin is tossed twice a fair coin simply means that the chances of getting ahead in a deal are just 50 50 there is no bias in it so we have to write down the set of possible outcomes in our previous uh, lesson we deal with how to find the possible outcome when a coin is tossed once twice and thrice so i'll go ahead with the set of possible outcomes so we let x equals the set of the possible outcomes which could be a head and a head a head and a tail tail and a head then tail tail these are the set of possible outcomes that you get we are told that if you have a tossing of a coin twice it's going to be two exponent two which will be four meaning four sample space so number of s from this will be four so now we are going straight forward to the next question which is what is the probability of obtaining exactly two heads exactly no head exactly one head exactly one head exactly two head so let e equals to the set of obtaining exactly two head which will be head and a head then number of the event e becomes what one so event is known sample space is known finally the probability will be probability of e equals to the number of e over number of four sample space and that will be one out of four four so one quarter will be getting a head and a head when a coin is tossed twice or two coins is tossed once number two we have to find at least one head at least the least should be one it could be two it could be three it could be four but the least among them should be one head in that sample space so we are going to have no head one head one head two head so there's a head 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 so at least there is a head present in these places so if we let d equals to the the event of obtaining as at least one head that is going to be a set of a head and a tail because there's one head there we also have a tail and a head because i can see at least a head is there then a head and a head at least we are having a head at least we are having two heads so we can take it as the least among them to be one so we have one being present so our number of samples uh, event becomes three so event is known sample space is known so probability of the event d equals to the number of d over number of sample space and that will end up giving us three out of four four three quarter now if you analyze this carefully probability of getting uh, at least one head is going to be equals to one minus probability of exactly two tail because if i'm having exactly two tail that is the only trial that there is no head in it because there's a, a tail here but there's a head in a addition so i can find the exactly two head plus at least one head both must give you what one so in this probability that i'm looking for probability of at least one head becomes one minus exactly two head two tail is only one so one out of four so we can write this as four out of four which is still one then we subtract the numerators that give us three out of four so we can go this approach or still count our sample space and move according to this all right then the number three we are looking for no head 
probability of no head. So there is a head, 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 no head, meaning a satellite to tail. So if we let f equals to exactly uh, no head, that is going to be only t and t that have no head. There's a head here, there's a head, and there's a head. So this becomes only event that has no head. So that becomes number of f becomes what? 1. So probability of f will now become number of the f over number of sample space and the f remain 1 sample space remain what 4 so that will also be 1 out of 4 just like we found it here as what 1 out of 4 so that will give you same answer now we are looking for a head and a tail because it is two events that we are have, uh, comparing we are having the first trial, second trial. So we are saying that in that event, what are we looking for? We are looking for a tail and what? A head. It doesn't matter whether a tail comes first or the head comes first. What matters is that what? There should be a tail and a head. So I can see a tail and a head here. I can also see a tail and a head. So if we let K equals to the set of getting a tail and a head that become head tail and tail what head so this will give us number of k to be two hence probability of k becomes number of k over number of x and that will give you two out of four which can be simplified to mean one out of two so this is what we can get out of when tossing a coin twice. In getting a sample space, we've listed them. We can also use a tree diagram to get our sample space, as we did in the previous episode. You can check it out if you've not watched that already. So in the next episode, we'll be dealing with how we can solve questions on tossing a coin three times. And also how we can toss a coin and a die simultaneously the same time all right thank you for watching like share and comment bye, -bye.